guys, welcome back to our channel. We went through our old videos and we were um, explaining to you guys that Javan had lost his job, um, our money had dropped, um, we had to move and all that stuff and we never really like explained to you guys what was really going on. Um, so we thought that we would just do a sit down video and try and tell you guys uh, what really happened and things like that. So I wanted to talk about why I lost my job. So I was working um, basically halfway through my pregnancy, I think. I stopped working around, I think it was May. And I think I was like six months pregnant, I think, close to it. I wanted to keep working, but they said you can't. Um, yeah, so the whole time we were there, I think Joanne was there for about two years until we realised that our contracts weren't even uh, right. We just want to talk about how, because we haven't, I don't, I don't know if we, rem I don't know if we said anything about how you lost your job, but do you want to tell them? Well, uh, yeah, um, well, it's kind of like a very long story, but I'll start off like at the beginning. Um, Marley, um, I was, of course was working with Marley and she was basically like the head of the cow shed. So everything that I was learning, I was learning off Mali and like the routines I'll do of the cow shed, the times that we start, the times that we end and like the way we milk and that was all, you know, Mali's way. So they, um, they changed the complete routine of the way Mali did stuff on the farm and I, I just found it like really difficult because like they were telling me one day do it this way and then Oh, how about you do it the way that Marley did, and then they'll swap it again, and that's basically like, you know, how I, I I found it difficult, and that was partly the reason why I lost my job, but I think also the other reason I lost my job was just the bosses did not like, you know, working with someone with a condition we talked about this quite a bit like how we didn't have money we couldn't afford to buy groceries and all that stuff and we just wanted to talk about how why our money dropped drastically and when we say drastically it, well, it dropped like mm. it was really really quickly really really fast and and for that to happen to like you know young adults like us and we were doing like really well and then all of a sudden the money just dropped really we, really quickly we... so the reason why so Javan was still getting his pay his whole pay and when in about May when I said that um, I had to stop working <laughs> so funny on papers. okay so in May when I said that I had to stop working um, they basically cut my pay I applied for a benefit um, it took ages to get one. So we were basically living off Javan's money Which was for really probably hard. a month. When I started getting paid, I was only getting paid $6.50 a week, every single Wednesday. And I was like, we didn't um, really okay, it just must be something wrong with it. So I go back in, like, they were just mucking me around and stuff like that. And I was still getting paid $6.50. And now with Javan's story, with the money, while getting $6.50. So, um, Javan was paying our rent, our power, our Wi-Fi, food. So, carry on the story, Margie. Okay. It's a life. <laughs> oh, we got some stories. Yeah. We got some stories about the farm. Oh, this is funny. This is funny. So, um, we'll tell you guys some stories about uh, our farming experiences. Some funny things. Some really funny, so stuff. funny things. Once Marley had, you know, fully left, and they actually started me on a new contract. I was actually getting paid quite a lot. Um, I was getting paid basically Marley's wage. And after, during that time, I was paid. We um. We never knew. How much do you think you're getting paid again? I think we should tell them. I think it was about. A it was like one thousand. One thousand six hundred. Yeah, one thousand six hundred. Once Marley had left, they actually threatened 
me they threatened my job they said you will lose your job or you will accept a docking of pay and this is while I was getting paid the amount that Marley used to get paid and I was like I was getting paid more than that yeah, I, was, I was getting paid like 1,900 I was like I was freaking out I was like um, um I was like uh okay you can dock my pay and I didn't want to tell Marley anything about losing my job yeah, because tell the truth was because I didn't want to tell her at all didn't tell Marley was because she was coming to the end of her pregnancy and I didn't want her to go stress out and it was a you know bad thing for me to do but I, I was thinking about the baby I was, and I didn't want her to stress out and then all of a sudden you know miscarry destiny it was dropped to about six hundred um, and fifty dollars which is basically a loss of a thousand dollars let's talk about how it affected us like you know after and all that stuff so um, I don't want to work anymore because I'm too scared to be pushed around and I, I've attempted and to and let's say this it's affected us really really badly that if we ever ever want a job and they ring them they talk about us how bad we are how stupid we are I don't know I don't know what they talk about <laughs> heavens knows but I know but it's we, not uh, good so it's, it's affected us pretty thing. bad we I've actually got anxiety I've got PTSD and I have depression so with the anxiety I'm too scared to talk to anybody so how's that gonna get me a job with PTSD I already had that from my past experiences from when I was a childhood when I was in my childhood <laughs> sorry but because I've already got PTSD they gave it to me again through the work I'm scared that I'm gonna get bullied again because I did what they were doing to us and I was loyal I was honest with them every single day I just see their bloody faces every day and I would never lie to them I would always you know be loyal and stuff like that the way it affected me, um, the way it affected me, it made, as you know, as Marley said, it's made me, because of my ADHD, it's made me think like, I'm too much, like, my ADD is too much for anyone. But, like, through the past year of me trying, you know, for, since the job, I did, a, I've done a course, work ready course, applied for a job, um, I actually went to an interview with that. Also, I've tried, you know, doing a building apprenticeship, um, but that um, didn't go as well as I thought. But it's made me think, like, ever since then, am I good enough to get a job? I want to, you know, I want to get a job. I want to provide for my They've, family. These people that we worked for were really, really, really harsh on Javan. Like, they were kind of harsh on him when I was around, but once I was gone, boom, they just went. Huh. Like, they were calling him names, they were calling him retarded, special. Threatening um, to um, abuse me. So how did we survive? Um, honestly, we probably wouldn't have been able to survive if we didn't have the amazing support that we got when we moved to this community that we moved into. Um, Our landlords are the best landlords ever. We got Their salvation. Family. We had Salvation Army give us loads of food. We had a financial um, advisor give us lots of food. Um, he helped us with our finance stuff, how to, um, you know, where to put our money that we're getting every week, um, how to pay things off and stuff like that. We also got food grants from. Um, the little community that we live by they gave us lots of food whenever we needed it so since we've been talking about how um who helped us um we want to appreciate and um thank everybody that's helped us basically survive um and all the support and help that we got so thank you and thank you to the new landlords
you guys are um, the best. You guys are awesome. You guys really saved us, really. So, how did we grow from it all? We're still growing. We're still growing. We're still learning. Um, we we're basically. I start like I already guys told you. I started a a business um, a while ago, but um, I actually stopped working oh, wow. on that for about probably like six months or something because it was just too overwhelming. Like I never farming is all I knew basically. Um, like. I was in school and I did a farming course, went straight to farming, that's all I knew, like, you know, all I'd like to post was funny memes, but now I can't. And <laughs> it's some so of those hard funny sometimes. memes are pretty bad, you know. Yeah, they hysterically make me laugh, but I can't share them anymore. She says she has to go into my Facebook and look at them that way. <laughs> um, I can still look at them, but I can't share them, that's yeah. all. Um, oh, yeah. But anyway, apart from all that, just... Um, so I basically have started a business. I've sold a few things. That's right. I got to learn my daughter. I got to learn her personality. Amen. And I got to learn, like I'm so lucky, man. Um, I got to learn everything about her, what she likes, what she likes to do, what she, how she talks, how she walks, um, you know, what she likes to eat and all that stuff. I got to learn her personality, her laugh, I got to learn her laugh, and trust me, she's got a few different ones, they're, not, they're all the same. We can tell uh, you the she same. is a flop. They're all the same, grade. but they're like different, there's probably like three different laughs, and I wonder if it's like, maybe me and you, and then probably <laughs> her own. But um, we've, we've seen her true laugh, and if you guys ever, well, um, try and get it on camera it's just super hard to like um video sometimes because you're so stuck in the moment that you just yeah. now that the year has gone by um we definitely understand that money is precious and you can't just waste we still got this flipping rat bag of a cat oh, clover. clover can you guys remember clover she's been in a few of our videos she's gotten a bit um she's gotten huge she's gotten huge <laughs> She's like, um, I think she may be three. Nearly three? She is three. She's like three, nearly. F she's gonna be four next year in April. But she's a complete. She she she's a joy. Like her and Destiny get along so Look well. Look at her. She <laughs> loves <laughs> me. Yes, I love you too. Amy, me. What? See, this is what we mean about how affectionate she is. And my Everyone thing. loved her at the farm. Like she would do this to the cows. And the cows would love it. They would never boot her. She would Sometimes even... they would, but she always went. But real one, one thing I used to, well, me and Molly both used to do. Molly was the first one to do it. Was used to put Clover up here when she was a baby kitten, like really little, and she'd be up on our shoulders. And she would do the whole milk, and she'd be up on our shoulders, and that's how the cows knew her. And one time, Look at her. she actually She's my baby. just used She's to my walk boy, through baby. the cow's legs. And she also, um, one time, she actually was on the back of a cow. Mm-hmm. Got any words to say, Mama? Mo. Do you miss your brother? Yeah, we also... Do you miss Roger? Does everybody, does anybody remember Raj Raj? Overall, I just want to let everyone know that we are in a happier place. Um, and all that stuff. Um, we're still look, both looking for um, actual jobs um, yeah and I just want to say that if you guys are ever in a situation like we had been in don't let that happen just if it's high paying nah who cares honestly your guys worth is way more than money go find something that you love